Today we are at Rausch Yates. Now, Rausch Yates isn't typically or traditionally known as a Swiss manufacturing plant. However, they have one, a Sugami. And did you know that they're actually utilizing that Sugami as a high mix, low volume production center? I know it sounds a bit strange. I myself haven't heard of it being utilized this way. The cliche statement in the industry is, if a Swiss machine isn't spinning, it's not making you money. So let's find out how Rausch Yates is utilizing their Swiss machining. Yep, I have my hand up, and when I ask this question, you're gonna have your hand up as well. How many of you, when you think about Swiss machining, think, well, I gotta run 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, a million parts in order to be profitable? The cliche statement out there is, if it's not spending, I'm not making money. That's how Swiss world works. However, I'm with Brian today. We're at Rouse Shades today, and they have a unique twist on how it's working for them. You see we're standing in front of Sugami. You see we're standing in front of an edge bar feed, and Brian's gonna describe how they in a world of Swiss and high production, have kind of decided to utilize it in a more high mix, low volume kind of way and how that might work for you in a partnership as well. Brian, you've decided to twist this all around like a pretzel. How are you utilizing the Tsunami? Yeah, so it's much different than most Swiss houses, right? You know, you can see we only have one Swiss in the midst of a lot of different equipment here. But what we really focus on is separating ourselves from Swiss houses, right? We look for the lower volumes that traditionally most Swiss organizations with 20, 30 of them would just not even be interested in. And there's a niche market out there and we're finding that niche in a lot of the different industries we serve. And really the advantages of the Swiss, especially the Sugami, is that you can still hold the high precision that a Swiss offers you at the lower volumes and still get the price point you need for the customers that they're looking for. Brian, I'm gonna have a heart to heart with you and pretend these cameras aren't yeah. even here. I was just in several shops where I asked them, why did you invest in the Sugami? Oh, well, we can produce so many parts, high precision, flexibility, the ability to do so much with these machines at a rate that I wasn't able to do before. And I look around and I see other turning centers in their shop and I said, yeah. Okay, so you're telling me those other turning centers, you weren't able to do this work, or if you were, you were gonna lose money on it because it just wasn't effective or efficient enough to do the job. So you're telling me, right. we'll take those lower uh, or higher mixed jobs, we'll take those because we have machines all over the place. And if you out there are one of those companies that go, look, we wanna do this, it's something we're gonna lose money on if we try and do it on a traditional turning center. That's where you guys come into play and say, don't worry, we got your back. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's turning centers out there with bar feeders, right? Collet systems on them. The really big advantage of having a Swiss technology, right? Especially like Sagami, is you're moving the material through the bar, right? You're moving the material into the cutting edge versus the cutting tools moving in the machine. That's the whole premise of why Swiss existed, right? High precision, very small parts. And then of course, again, when you have a bar feeder, like this edge bar feeder behind us, you can walk away from it whatever the volume is, right? If it's a 50 piece run, a 500 piece run, or a thousand piece run, once it's running, our operators are going somewhere else and running another machine. Brian, you're making my job too easy because you already brought up the bar feed, <laughs> which is the next way I was yeah. gonna dive in. Now, Edge Technologies has a, as a I'm gonna use technology again because it is technology, that's three times, sorry about that, my friends. However, Edge Technologies does have a technology that allows us to almost do like a partial changeover instead of a full changeover. So when we're talking about a more mixed variety like what you're describing, instead of spending hours between each of those jobs of 30 parts to 500 right. parts, you're gonna spend just minutes. And that's where Edge comes into play to support that whole system that you've pretzeled up. Correct, and that's why we really partnered with Edge on the Sagami kind of platform here is that with that quick changeover technology that they offer on this type of bar feeder, it does take the setup time that traditionally most shops think in their head, hey, this is gonna be an eight hour setup to get this machine running and we gotta have the volume to support that setup. Today with the technology advancements that Edge provided really helps us cut that cycle time down on the setup time mm -hmm. and really provide us a, a way to be economical. Yeah, well said, Brian. Now I wanna kind of bring this all full circle yep. real quick because we've talked about the technology and how the technology is working for you, but I would make the discussion for the audience when they hear Roush Yates, they think of motorsports and they don't think of a manufacturing solution that they can partner with for expert parts at a good price. Right. I threw the good price in there for you guys, by the way. And I'm looking at your shirt, it says manufacturing solutions. So you guys here at Roush right. Yates are looking out there for people watching this video right now to go, look, we can be your manufacturing partner. Yeah, we do motorsports, but we're gonna put you equal, if not even on the front 
of right. partnerships when it comes to making parts for others as well. Can you just quickly talk about what manufacturing solutions at Roush Yates means? Yeah, so look, the manufacturing solution in our name really is our mission and vision, really to provide a cradle to grave kind of experience for our customer, right? Taking on parts from raw material all the way through doing in-house paint, OSP, passivation, chem filming, right? So we're always expanding our offerings internal to really provide the best OTD and cost effectiveness that we can control within our four walls. I have one last question for you before we close this. Probably gonna be the most difficult one because we did not prepare for it at all. You do motorsports, you're known for motorsports, diversifying into other things, but I drive a scooter in South Florida. You think you could hook me up with a, a motor that could make me go a little uh, bit faster? Our marketing team's pretty good about making partnerships. I'll let you guys work that out. Awesome, Brian. Thank All you right. so much for your time. We appreciate you. For everyone watching, we appreciate your time also.